Good morning, good morning, good morning, family. What up, what up, what up? Welcome to your card of the day. I am La Santera. Today is Sunday, September 29th, 2019. Dia de San Miguel. Amen, amen. Maverefun Ogun. Let's get into your cards, family. I'm here to tell you <laughs> all of your cards. Three cards jumped out, all reversals. Grounded. Health. No, healer. New moon. Grounded in reverse. The anchor. Let's do it. So here, because it's reversed, we are not anchored. We are not grounded. Here the symbol is calling us to be more connected. We're feeling out of control. We have not found our center. We are not connecting to our core. We are unsure about how to connect. We are doubting our abilities. We're not connected to our body. We're not connected to the earth, right? And so how do we flip it? How do we flip it where we can be and move with this anchor and be more grounded in our truth, in our path, in what our ancestors have been promising us from the day we were born? We're gonna eat more vegetables. We're going to connect to the earth. We're gonna put our feet in the dirt and just sit outside today and just put our hands on the grass. We're going to go hug a tree. My dear friend, Miguel or Griselda, one of my twins from Brujas of Brooklyn, they recommended when the equinox um, came that we needed to connect more to this energy and, feed, and have this exchange with the earth because the earth gives and supplies us with so much. We are connecting, so all of our cards come up in reverse and it's just this, we are on a roll this week because we are tending to our bodies and our spirit and our soul work, our love work, right? Stay put for a while. Go sit outside and stay put for a while. This week, before we come home and we project and put our shit on our family, if we've had a bad day or a challenging commute, we're going to set an intention and commit to maybe sitting outside or standing outside our door for five minutes and breathing, sitting on our steps, sitting on the stoop, right? and breathing and saying and making a decision to be grounded and understand that whatever it is that has us triggered or stressed or nervous, we're gonna release it because the people that we are around are not to blame. We're gonna be more grounded this week. Our next card was the healer. Reversed. The healer, the curandera, you are not trusting the universe, your spirit guides, your ancestors, your intuition. You are questioning everything. Stop doubting it. You inherited these gifts and they are yours to connect to. You do not need permission and if you do need permission, I am giving it to you with all of my blessing. You were born to do this. And you don't need to worry about what other people are doing. Right now, you're being called to connect to spirit, to heal some things, to do the work. And it's not pretty work sometimes. You were born to do this. This exchange that's happening between the universe is incredible, incredibly powerful. Yesterday, I talked about energy. This morning, I posted something on my Instagram about energy and how we are alchemists, right? Co-creating with the universe and we're transforming things. You might be looking at others and comparing yourself to folks who are further along. Stop it. You know, they might be doing something that you dream of. Just because they're doing it doesn't mean that you can't. And no one is going to do it the way that you will. 
there are people who are waiting for who you are becoming. So let's get to becoming, right? The healer card is saying, trust me. Trust me, I got you. And then, no coincidences, just had our new moon, right? New moon in Libra. In reverse. New moons are about fresh start, new beginnings, starting projects. We are afraid to leap. We are afraid to trust. It's okay to not have it figured out. It's okay to be learning to be in the, in the infant stages. It's okay to not have it all together. The Libra sign is here to pull us and tell us that we need to connect to balance. Right? That's the only thing that we should be focusing on today, every day, is how can we be more in alignment with our highest good, with what we were called to do and become. Balance in all areas. So it's time to plan. It's time to execute. It's time to cut shit out, cut carbs out. Anything that's slowing us down, we're cutting it out. And we're not allowing for another day to pass us by. Family, this is an energy, an energy exchange. We are co-creating together. This is an energy exchange. When these messages come up, I've pulled them, right? My energy, calling forth messages, right? Asking my Agoon to guide me, my ancestors to guide me, my Santos to guide me for us. We are all in the same place. Like, how can I be more grounded? How can I connect more to my healing abilities? How can I connect to this new moon energy, right? Let's remember that we are alchemists. And if we can move with that, you will see. You will see the blessings manifest. That's what manifestation is. Family, I'm sending you so much love. Happy Sunday. We have shit to do. We have work to do. And I got you. Please leave your comments. I would love to know how this reading today resonated, what really jumped out, where you really felt like, yes, you're speaking to me. Please like, subscribe, share, post, repost um, with everyone you know and love. And hit me up for a full reading, lasantera.nyc at gmail.com. I'm wishing you an amazing Sunday. Un día de San Miguel, just filled with miracles. Connect to that archangel energy. Um, and have an amazing week. See you tomorrow. Peace.